All right, guys. This is me attaching the chains to my Alhambra de Sortera. It can also be used on a natural with drilled holes like this one here. Let's see right there. Okay. Anyway, here's one side started. I'm going to do the other side. Just use a piece of a broken, just the number 64 rubber band, split in half, thread it through the hole. Here. You encounter too much friction, just add a little bit of talcum, help pull through. Try to get even here. Okay. See. All right, that went all the way through. Just try to even it out. Get that loop as even as you can. And you just take this in. And put it through the loop that went through the hole in the fork. Just take your time. It doesn't take long once you do it right. Okay. Get that passed. Right here. Get all the rubber bands together. If you start having a little trouble, just try to even them out. So I don't know if I'm doing this. So you can see. Even the rubber bands out there. Because this is a tight hole, you have to try to gently pull them together. I put a little bit of talcum in the front part. Right there. Okay. That helps slide through. All right, there you go. See. Now you need to put a pouch on. We'll do that too. Okay. Just give me a sec here. I'll get the pouch. For this part of it, I just take this rubber band and split in half. All you need is one rubber band so you could tie bands to the pouch. Okay. This is the pouch I use on the Alhambra Resortera. Okay. Just take the rubber band, loop it through here. All you gotta do is pull it to the hole gently. Even them out. I always want to make sure pouch binds with the fork. The bands are in conjunction with the fork. The tying part's easy, not very complex. Okay, let's. Pretty straight. I try to do a close up here. See? Now, I hope this can be seen. Very easy. I don't tie knots. Simple, just hold the cover, get it even. Okay, even these as much as you can, and just hold it in place with your thumb, like that. Let's take the rubber band here, start here, once you have it in place. There. 
all I do is wrap. Whole little bits of the pouch, even. Start your start, just turning, stretch it out, turn, turn. I went over where I started, so it's no longer going to come out. Turn, just keep going. Very secure tying method I've always used. No problems. The bands never escape from the pouch. Okay. All you gotta do is put it like that over your thumb, tuck under, push over, and that's it. No problem. Then you just do the same thing with the other side, and you're done. Okay guys, this next attachment method I'm doing by special request for the guy who was asking me what methods to are common and easy to attach chains to a natural fork. I don't know if you can see because this webcam's terrible, but these for this fork here I carved a notch all the way around, kind of similar like to an old clothespin. It's a classic method. I already have one side attached, but for the sake of demonstration, all you need to do is take your loop end. Okay, where are we at here? Take it with your thumb and index finger, make a loop like that. Just fold, pull. I have a slip knot. All you do is take the slip knot, put that over the notched end of the fork. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, no talcum involved in this one. There you go. It's over. And you start constricting it, pulling, pulling, pulling. Technically, you can shoot it like this already if you want to. However, see, I align it. Let me show you what the fork. It's aligned to the edges, and it's a wide fork so that it helps to shoot over but a wide fork is good for safety reasoning in case you're not used to the shooting method now for security for safety reasons you can take again a number 64 rubber band and just tie it around where you started okay well it slipped out Let's go. Oops. Oh, it's because it's half a 64. <laughs> Let's try it with a full 64. All right. Start. Just careful. You don't have to overdo it. This is just to keep it from sliding. Okay. There you go. Go all around it. And. This will keep it from ever slipping off the notch, which it rarely does, but it also keeps the attachment in the same place. And just do as I did on the pouch, just tuck it over. And there you have, the, this is probably the most common method used historically for attaching the chain rubber band bands. And it can be seen on that old painting by Karl Witkowski, who made a painting titled The Little Hunter around 1860 to 1910. So for at least the 152 years, people have used this attachment method with chains. So give it a shot. If this helps you, try it out.